Hope you have a great understanding on what we are going to do in this series. In this video, I'm going to create a virtual machine and later we are going to install parity in it. Let's get started. In this series, I have used Amazon Web Services, but however, you can be able to choose any of the cloud service provider. So you can go to service and click on EC2. So I'm going to create a virtual machine here. So currently I don't have any virtual machines running on my cloud service provider. I'm going to create one. Click on launch instance. And here I have to choose a virtual machine operating system. So here I'm choosing Ubuntu server 18.04. I prefer to choose the latest one. So click on select. Here I'll have to choose at the size of the virtual machine. In a real time project, you will choose probably a 32 GB or 16 to 2 GB. But for this video series, I'm going to choose the free tier eligibility and click on configure instance details. Here I'm going to leave the details default. I'm not going to make any kind of a changes. But however, if you want to make some changes, please feel free to do it. Next click on add storage. Here I'm going to set a a uh, size of for my virtual machine. So I'm going to keep maybe 15 GB. That should be good enough for me to start my network. In a real time project scenario, you're going to select either 80 or 100 GB. So here I'm going to create a, a configure security group. I have a con security group already defined. So I'm going to select that. Here you'll have to open two ports that is port 22 and port 8545. That is where our blockchain network is going to start. The port 22 is to log into the virtual machine and 8545 is to interact with our blockchain network and click on review and launch. Here I will have to check all the details whatever I have selected in the earlier six steps and if everything is fine I will have to click on launch. And here I'll have to choose a key pair. I don't have any key pair at this point of time. The key pair is nothing but a password which will allow me to log into the virtual machine. So I'm entering a parity PYA and click on download. So I created a folder on my desktop. So I'm going to store all this parity related uh, details over there. Parity PYA and click save. And then click on launch instance. This is going to create my virtual machine. So you can click on view instances that you can see there is one instance running on our virtual machine. This will take couple of minutes to create the virtual machine. So I'll just give you an overview of what I have done in this video. So what I have done, I have created a virtual machine. I have selected its storage space. I have chosen the RAM and I have selected the memory has 15 GB and in the real time project scenario you're going to select 80 GB or 100 GB or 200 GB even. And this is going to take a while to create the virtual machine. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back in a moment. So our virtual machine is setup is done. So I'm going to name it. So I'll just type it as a parity POA single node. 